Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I am here with another cool device. Look at this. This is an e-ink note-taking tablet. It also has an Android operating system. Looks cool, right? Let's get started. E-ink tablets are getting popular and popular in these days. Back in the time, we only had Kindles. Kindles with glare-free screens, so it gives us a perfect reading experience. But now, you can use these devices and start taking notes, so you can have a perfect reading plus writing experience. There are super cool tablets on the market right now, and in 2021, one of the most famous one is Mobiscribe Origin. This is the latest Mobiscribe device, guys. It is currently 250 US dollars on Mobiscribe store. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. Mobiscribe sent me this product for an exchange of my honest review. Without further ado, let's start with an unboxing, then I will test it and review it for you. It comes in this eco-friendly box. It looks cute. Let's open it up. Yes, this is the Origin 6.8 inch size um, e-ink tablet. It looks really good. Um, this is the back side, a matte grey color. We have two buttons here at the top. The orange one is the on-off button and the grey one is the screen light. And here at the bottom we have a micro SD card slot, um, USB-C charging port and the pinhole reset button. This is the pen. It is light and pretty slim. There is no side buttons. Um, the pen feels good. It's a classic hexagonal Stedler type pen. The nib is removable, replaceable, and we have an eraser here at the top. This is the USB-C cable for power and data connection. Looks good. We have three extra nibs and nib remover here in the package. This is the manual. And we have another box here guys, it comes with a tablet. Um, this is for a free tablet cover. And here it is. It is thin and light, looks good. We have an orange magnetic seal here. Uh, there's a little pocket here, a card holder on this part. Um, we have a sticker here to place the tablet on top of it. We have pen attachment here. And finally, there is also an orange elastic band. It's a good option to secure the tablet. Okay, it's time to start using it. By the way, I placed the tablet here guys, sticked it on, on the cover. And here is how it looks like from all different angles. It's pretty slim and lightweight. I like it. Let's start testing now. It has an auto wake up function guys, that's good. You see, there's a small sensor here uh, for that function. The screen is not glass. It's a glare free screen, so you don't see the reflections here. There are two giant lights on top of the tablet right now, but they are all diffused. You see guys, in this menu we have some options, notes, books, calendar and tools. I will talk about each part later. Um, there are also some icons here at the top. There's a go back option, main menu, recent apps icon guys, like in smartphones, you can close them all. Um, we have a refresh icon, Wi-Fi here, light settings, so you can turn the built-in lights on or off. Um, let me show you how it works. I am closing all the lights in the room now, so you see guys, it's really good. You can also adjust the level or the color of the front light. You can make it like more amber or more blue. Um, there are a few more settings here too. Next, we have the settings icon. So it has a lot of settings here guys. You can see the system information. So this is an Android 8.1 eNote device with a 2GB RAM and a quad-core processor. And it has 32 gigabytes storage. You can also upgrade it up to 64 gigabytes total uh, by using a micro SD card. This is the battery icon. You can show the percentage here and you can also see the uptime. Okay, let's talk about the tools option now. We have files here so you can see what you have in the tablet. We also have pictures here and Mobi Store. This is great guys, so you can download some apps. There are some reading apps here. And this is Kindle app. It is super useful for me because I have some books on my Amazon account. So I can just log in and read. No need for data transfer. Um, there are also tools here you can download. Um, I will download chess. And of course, I will try playing. It will be fun. Um, we also have some templates here. You can download them and use them for your notes. By the way, you can also customize shortcuts uh, from the settings. If you want to see some apps appear at the home screen all the time, you can do that. Let's start taking notes. 
When you click create a node, it asks for two options, vertical or horizontal. That's amazing. I like this feature. Let's go with the vertical now. Here is an empty screen, guys. We have pens here. You can choose between different styles, sizes, different thickness levels or opacity. Um, you can also insert some shapes from this option. Um, this is the eraser. You can uh, use back of the pen too. This is the lasso tool for selecting things. You can insert texts, uh, images and tables from this option. We have templates here. They are really useful, guys. You can also insert some templates or customize. And I will choose this one. Finally, there are some other tools here, as you can see. We will try the OCR soon. Let's start writing. Writing feels really good, guys. I like the surface. It is great for taking notes. Response time is great. And the pen is really good. I like it. Um, let's take the OCR now. It is kind of slow, but pretty accurate. I really like writing on Origin. This definitely is the best digital writing experience I had, you know. I tried iPads, Android tablets, graphics tablets, monitor tablets, and LCD writing tablets. But Origin performs better than all in terms of writing experience. It feels great. You can also get a really good drawing experience. Look at this pressure sensitivity, guys. Yes, it is good. I want to write more and more because I really enjoy writing. But anyways, I don't want to make this video super long. Now, I am connecting it to my computer and transfer some files. I added some PDF, Mobi and EPUB files. Let's check them. Here's a Mobi file. Yes, it looks good. You can use some functions here, but unfortunately, you cannot annotate on your files. You can resize, highlight, add bookmarks, uh, but you cannot write on the file. It's the same with EPUB files too. So you cannot annotate on ebooks, but you can do it with PDF files. However, PDF reader is different. You need to install additional software and the software is really good. Um, there are a lot of tools, plus you can annotate on PDF files. It is really useful for me. The screen size is kind of small for some PDF files, uh, like this textbook here, guys, but you can, of course, use the zooming feature. If the PDF file is not scanned, if it is original, you can also use search function and search for keywords. It is good. Kindle app also works after you sign in. Um, you will see the books on your account and you can read them. I will also play a quick chess game here, guys. It turns out that it was the easiest mode, so uh, you can choose different levels. I didn't know that. Uh, you can also play online games. Cool. Finally, I will show you how calendar looks like. Um, here it is, so you can write your agenda, fill in your schedule and take some notes. And it will appear here. That's good. Okay, MobiScribe Origin. I love the device. If you are looking for an e-ink tablet with uh, note-taking capability, guys, this is great. I definitely recommend you to try this one out. It's great for teachers, students, professionals, anyone who wants to take notes, doodle, brainstorm, um, write lesson plans, daily plans, some stories. You know, it is great. Let me talk about the pros first. Writing experience. Yes, first of all, writing experience is great. It is much, much, much better than expected, guys. The screen is not glossy, so it is perfect for handwriting. The pen is good. It is battery free. Uh, the eraser function is super useful, guys. And the nib is standard. It is removable, replaceable. OCR technology is good. It is pretty accurate, guys. I like it. And the operating system is Android. So I like Android. It's another plus for me. You can download apps on it, guys. I downloaded Kindle, um, PDF reader, internet browser, and the chess game. Yes, all these apps work perfectly. And yes, you can play games on it. And from now on, I will go to all my meetings with this device. USB-C connection is another plus. I like the auto wake up uh, technology. Better life is okay. I didn't test it, but I received this tablet three days ago and it's up for three days. I used it uh, pretty much every day and it dropped from 80% to 40%. So yeah, I think it's okay for me. It's time for cons now. I can tell you one thing. You cannot annotate on uh, EPUB or Mobi files. Uh, the different apps are dealing with PDF, 
files or ebooks so you can annotate on pdf files take notes solve questions you know it's super useful but you cannot do the same for epub or mobi files you know i like taking notes when i read something maybe you can find a software which helps you annotate on those files but i'm not sure if you think there's a solution for that guys please write a comment below and let us know okay don't forget to hit the like button guys if you like the video and you can subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more content like that that's it for today if you have any questions anything to say anything to share leave a comment below and let us know um i'll be with you in another cool technology video for teachers keep watching mathematics goodbye